Pastor guy, so from the headlines, you should know what Pastor Adiboye has apologized for. Check it out. If we don't pay tight, you might not make it to heaven. I'm sorry, that's wrong. That's not in the Bible. What the Bible says is, is he at peace with all men and holiness, without which no man shall see God. You heard him right, at least he has admitted he was wrong. And I commend him for that. We all make mistakes, but what matters is don't let your ego get in the way. Well, this is a good start, and I hope more of those pastors that preach things outside the Bible will follow suit. That's what I pray for. Giving to God shouldn't be restricted to just 10%. Instead, giving should come from a place of love. When it is love driven, when it is love motivated, someone could even give a hundred percent and still feel good about it. The Bible says, as he has proposed in his heart, let him give, meaning you should give what feels right to you. God loves a cheerful giver, so when you've truly experienced his goodness in your own life, you won't need someone telling you to give a specific percentage or a specific amount like 10% or 20%. Rather, you will give freely and you give happily. Sometimes so much that you even lose track. That's the key. There shouldn't be a set limit. Give whatever you can, whenever you want, and let it flow naturally from your heart. For many years, I've learned not to accept every teaching blindly, no matter how much I admire the person. But I'm grateful that you know, he has now corrected himself and he has now said the truth. Once again, the apology is commendable. No man is infallible. No one, nobody is perfect. Every day we live, every day we learn. So put your lessons where you can find them, won't you? Sure you will.